In this video, I'm going to discuss distance time graphs. The distance time graph, we have the vertical axis represents distance and horizontal axis represent time. Diagram above shows a motion of a car or air. Here, the car moved from town P to town Q in one hour. Here's P, here's Q in one hour. Distance from P to Q is 80 km. AB, the car stopped at town Q for 3 over 4 hours or 45 minutes. Here, we look at here, point A, 80 km. Point B, also 80 km. Means the car stationary here. B, C. The car continued the journey from town Q to town R. Here is town Q, continue journey to town R. We look at another distant time graph. Diagram above shows a motion of a taxi. OP. Here, the taxi moved from town A to town B in 30 minutes. Town A here, town B here. From, from town A to town B is 70 km. So, spend 30 minutes. PQ. The taxi stopped at town B for 25 minutes. So, here 55 minus 30 is 25 minutes. So, taxi stop here. Q, QR. The taxi moves back to town A in 35 minutes. Normally, for distant time graph, we will use two formula, speed equal to gradient. This is the formula for gradient, or distance over time. Another formula is average speed, total distance over total time taken. Okay, now we try to answer this question. A. Determine the duration when the car is stationary. So where is the car stationary? At line AB here. 1, 3 over 4 minus 1 equal to 3 over 4 hours or 45 minutes. Means 3 over 4 times 60 equal to 45 minutes. A2. The speed of the car in first hour in kilometer per hour. So, first hour is here. The speed, we use the gradient. So, if you use the gradient, you need to stack the coordinate of point A and point O. O is 0, 0. Coordinate of A is 1, 80. So, 80 minus 0 over 1 minus 0. Or you can use speed equal to distance time formula. Distance is 80. Here, time taken is 1 hour. Speed equal to 80 km per hour. B. Describe the motion of the car for the last 75 minutes. So, where is the last 75? Here. 3 minus 1, 3 over 4 is equal to 75 minutes. Speed equal to 120 minus 80 over 3 minus 1, 3 over 4. So equal to 40 over 1.25 equal to 32 km per hour. So conclusion, the car travel for 40 km. Here, 120 minus 80 is 40. So 40 km with a speed of 32 km per hour in last 75 minutes. So to describe, you need to mention the distance, the speed, and the time. Question, determine the total distance in kilometer for whole journey. So from town A, go to town B, 70 kilometer. Car stationary here for a certain period and return from town B to town A. The distance also 70 kilometer. 
So the total distance for whole journey is 70 plus 70 equal to 140 kilometer. A2, the value of T if the taxi driver with speed of 100 km per hour from town A to town B is here. The speed given already 100 km per hour. So you know for distant time graph, the gradient is speed. So I use the formula speed. 100 speed equal to distance is here. The coordinate here, uh, y is 70 minus 0 over t minus 0. And because here is minutes and the question is in hour, so the unit for times, so the unit for time here, t minus 0, you must divide by 60. You change to hour. So I move this one to the left hand side, divide become multiply. 100 times t over 60 equal to 70. t over 60 equal to 70 over 100. Because 100 I move to right hand side. t equal to 70 over 100 times 60. To 42 minutes. B. Describe the motion of the car from town B to town A. So when the question asks to describe, first you must mention the distance between town B and town A. So distance is 70 km. After that, you need to find the speed from town B to town A and the time also. The speed equal to 70 minus 0 over 55 minus 90. But here, because the time is in minutes, I need to change it to hour. So, divide by 60 here. Equal to negative 120 km per hour. We get negative here. Because the gradient is in negative. But our speed, we never write in negative value. I cannot say, I drive, today I drive negative 50 km per hour. Automatic. We change negative to positive, so 120 km per hour. Then we describe it. The taxi travel for 70 km with a speed of 120 km per hour in last 35 minutes. Here, 35, 90 minus 55. That's all for today. Thank you. If you like my video, please click like and subscribe. Thank you.